Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity, of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which He is offended, and through the infinite merits of His most sacred heart, and of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg of Thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Sancte Michael Archangeli, defende nos in predio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperitri Deus supices de precamor, tuque princeps venitiae celestis, satana mariosque spiritus manignos, quod perditionem animarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute in infern vitrude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we begin these glorious mysteries, uh, just a few hours before the beginning of the great feast of St. Joseph the Worker, let us ask St. Joseph to pray with us. And I'm having to pray the Rosary today from my bed, uh, but God willing, you can see clearly enough the sacred image of the saints looking up at Jesus Christ crucified. And I've been, uh, because I've been unable to um, pray consistently or speak for very long, I'm going to today likely have to just give you the introduction and then the, the reading from St. Louis de Mumford. And if I'm able to, I'll also pray the whole rosary with you. But if I can't, then I'm going to repost the one of the past few days rosaries with this introduction and then with the ending prayers from St. Louis de Mumford. And so let's enter now into the heart of the Holy Rosary, asking Our Lady of Guadalupe to pray for us and praying for the poor souls in purgatory. And I haven't been able to access your intentions, but I'm going to ask Our Lady in this and in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass to pour out graces on those of you most in need. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. 
the second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. O Jesus, I choose to live this day for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen.
Regina Celi Letare Alleluia Qui aque merumisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicutixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum Alleluia Gaudet letare virco Maria, Alleluia. Quia surexit Dominus vere, Alleluia. Oremus. Deus qui per resurrectionem fitui, Domini nostri Iesu Christi, mundum letificare dignatus es, presta quesumus, ut per eius centricem Virginem Mariam perpetue capiamus gaudia vitae. Perium dem Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour out His graces upon each one of your families. Benedicta Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat Super Vos et Maniat Semper. Amen. And so on this third day of our preparation, let's listen to St. Louis de Mumford. He continues his opening explanation of how, by God's free choice, he's chosen to make Our Lady necessary in his great work of sanctifying souls. Mary is necessary to God in the sanctification of souls. The conduct which the three persons of the Most Holy Trinity have deigned to pursue in the Incarnation and the first coming of Jesus Christ. They who still pursue daily in an invisible manner throughout the whole Church. And they will still pursue it even to the consummation of ages in the last coming of Jesus Christ. God the Father made an assemblage of all the waters and He named it the Sea, Mare. He made an assemblage of all His graces and He called it Mary, Maria. This great God has a most rich treasury in which he has laid up all he has of beauty and splendor, of rarity and preciousness, including even his own Son. And this immense treasury is none other than Mary, whom the saints have named the treasure of the Lord, out of whose plenitude all men are made rich. God the Son has communicated to his mother all that he acquired by his life and his death his infinite merits, and his admirable virtues. And he has made her the treasurer of all that his father gave him for his inheritance. It is by her that he applies his merits to his members, and that he communicates his virtues and distributes his graces. She is his mysterious channel. She is his aqueduct, through which he makes his mercies flow gently and abundantly. Mary, his faithful spouse, God the Holy Ghost has communicated, sorry, to Mary, his faithful spouse, God the Holy Ghost has communicated his unspeakable gifts, and he has chosen her to be the dispenser of all he possesses, in such wise that she distributes to whom she wills, as much as she wills, as she wills, and when she wills, all his gifts and graces. The Holy Ghost gives no heavenly gift to men which he does not have passed through her virginal hands. Such has been the will of God, who has willed that we should have everything through Mary, so that she who impoverished, humbled, and who hid herself even unto the abyss of nothingness by her profound humility her whole life long, should now be enriched and exalted and honored by the Most High. Such are the sentiments of the Church and the Holy Fathers. If I were speaking to the free thinkers of these times, I would prove what I have said so simply here, drawing it out at more length, and confirming it by the Holy Scriptures and the Fathers, quoting the original passages, and adducing various solid reasons, which may be seen at length in the book of Father Poiret, La Tripra Couronne de la Sainte Vierge. But as I speak particularly to the poor and simple, who being of good will, and having more faith than the common run of scholars, 
believe more simply and more meritoriously, I content myself with stating the truth quite plainly, without stopping to quote the Latin passages which they would not understand. Nevertheless, without making much research, I shall not fail to bring forward some of them from time to time. But now let us go on with our subject. Inasmuch as grace perfects nature and glory perfects grace, it is certain that our Lord is still in heaven, as much the Son of Mary as he was on earth, and that consequently he has retained the obedience and submission of the most perfect child toward the best of all mothers. But we must take great pains not to conceive this dependence as any abasement or imperfection in Jesus Christ. For Mary is infinitely below her Son, who is God, and therefore she does not command him as a mother here below would command her child who is below her. Mary being altogether transformed into God by grace and by the glory which transforms all the saints into him, asks nothing, wishes nothing, and does nothing contrary to the eternal and immutable will of God. When we read then in the writings of St. Bernard, Bernardine, and Bonaventure, and others, that in heaven and on earth, everything, even God himself, is subject to the Blessed Virgin, they mean that the authority which God has been well pleased to give her is so great that it seems as if she had the same power as God, and that her prayers and petitions are so powerful with God that they always pass for the commandments with his majesty, who never resists the prayer of his dear mother, because she is always humble and conformed to his will. If Moses, by the force of his prayer, stayed the anger of God against the Israelites in a manner so powerful that the Most High and infinitely merciful Lord, being unable to resist him, and told him to let him alone, that he might be angry with and punish that rebellious people, what must we not, with much greater reason, think of the prayer of the humble Mary, that worthy mother of God, which is more powerful with his majesty than the prayers and intercessions of all the saints and angels both in heaven and on earth. In the heavens, Mary commands the angels and the blessed as a recompense for her profound humility. God has empowered her and commissioned her to fill with saints the empty throne from which the apostate angels fell by pride. The will of the Most High, who exalts the humble, is that heaven, earth, and hell bend with good will or bad will to the commandments of the humble Mary, whom she has made sovereign of heaven and earth, general of his armies, treasurer of his treasures, dispenser of his graces, worker of his greatest marvels, restorer of the human race, mediatrix of men, the exterminator of the enemies of God, and the faithful companion of his grandeurs and triumphs. God the Father wishes to have children by Mary till the consummation of the world, and he speaks to her these words, Dwell in Jacob. That is to say, make your dwelling and residence in my predestined children, prefigured by Jacob, and not in the reprobate children of the devil, prefigured by Esau. Just as in the natural and corporal generation of children, there are a father and a mother, so in the supernatural and spiritual generation, there are a father who is God and a mother who is Mary. All the true children of God, the predestinate, have God for their father and Mary for their mother. He who has not Mary for his mother has not God for his father. This is the reason why the reprobate, such as heretics, schismatics, and others, who hate our Blessed Lady or regard her with contempt and indifference, have not God for their father, however much they boast of it, simply because they have not Mary for their mother. For if they had her for their mother, they would love and honor her as a true child, naturally loves and honors the mother who has given him life. And those words in the next words can be hard for us to hear. I'll explain this a little bit at the end of the passage. St. Louis de Mumford continues, The most infallible and indubitable sign by which we may distinguish a heretic a man of bad doctrine, a reprobate, from one of the predestinate, is that the heretic and the reprobate have nothing but contempt and indifference for Our Lady, endeavoring by their words and examples to diminish the worship and love of her, openly or hiddenly, 
and sometimes by misrepresentation. Alas, God the Father has not told Mary to dwell in them, for they are Esau's. God the Son wishes to form himself, and so to speak, to incarnate himself in his members every day by his dear mother. And he says to her, Take Israel for your inheritance. It is as if he had said, God the Father has given me for an inheritance all the nations of the earth, all men, good and bad, predestinate and reprobate, the ones I will leave with a rod of gold, and the others with a rod of iron. Of the ones I will be the Father and the Advocate, of the others the just punisher, and of all the judge. But as for you, my dear mother, you shall have for your heritage and possession only the predestinate, prefigured by Israel, and as their mother you shall bring them forth and take care of them. And as their sovereign, you shall conduct them, govern them, and defend them. This man and that man is born in her, says the Holy Ghost through the royal psalmist, according to the explanation of some of the fathers. The first man that is born in Mary is the man God, Jesus Christ. The second is a mere man, the child of God, and Mary by adoption. If Jesus Christ, the head of men, is born in her, then the predestinate, who are the members of that head, ought also to be born in her, by a necessary consequence. One and the same mother does not bring forth into the world the head without the members, or the members without the head, for this would be a monster of nature. So in like manner, in the order of grace, the head and the members are born of one and the same mother, and if a member of the mystical body of Jesus Christ, that is to say one of the predestinate, were born of any other mother than Mary, who has produced the head, he would not be one of the predestinate, nor a member of Jesus Christ, but simply a monster in the order of grace. Besides this, Jesus being at present as much as ever the fruit of Mary, as heaven and earth repeat thousands and thousands of times a day, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. It is certain that Jesus Christ is, for each man in particular who possesses him, as truly the fruit and work of Mary, as he is for the whole world in general, so that if any one of the faithful has Jesus Christ formed in his heart, he can say boldly, All thanks be to Mary. What I possess is her effect and her fruit, and without her I should never have had it. We can apply to her more than St. Paul applied to himself the words, I am in labor again with all the children of God, until Jesus Christ my Son be formed in, in them in the fullness of his age. St. Augustine, surpassing himself and going beyond all I have yet said, affirms that all the predestinate, in order to be confirmed, conformed to the image of the Son of God, are in this world hidden in the womb of the Most Holy Virgin, where they are guarded, nourished, brought up, and made to grow by that good mother until she has brought them forth to glory after death, which is properly the day of their birth, as the Church calls the death of the just, a mystery of grace, unknown to the reprobate and but little known even to the predestinate. God the Holy Ghost wishes to form elect for himself, in her and by her, and he says to her, Strike the roots, my well-beloved and my spouse, of all your virtues and my elect, in order that they may grow from virtue to virtue and from grace to grace. I took so much complacence in you when you lived on earth in the practice of the most sublime virtues that I desire still to find you on earth without your ceasing to be in heaven. For this end, reproduce yourself and my elect, that I may behold in them with complacence the roots of your invincible faith, of your profound humility, of your universal mortification, of your sublime prayer, of your ardent charity, of your firm hope, and of all your virtues. You are always my spouse, as faithful, as pure, and as fruitful as ever. Let your faith give me my faithful, your purity, my virgins, and your fertility, my temples, and my elect. When Mary has struck her roots in a soul, she produces there marvels of grace, which she alone can produce, because she alone is the fruitful virgin who never has had and never will have her equal in purity and in fruitfulness. 
Mary has produced together with the Holy Ghost the greatest thing which has been or ever will be a God-man, and she will consequently produce the greatest saints that there will be in the end of time. The formation and the education of the great saints who shall come at the end of the world are reserved for her, for it is only that singular and miraculous virgin who can produce in union with the Holy Ghost singular and extraordinary things. When the Holy Ghost, her spouse, has found Mary in a soul, he flies there. He enters there in his fullness. He communicates himself to that soul abundantly and to the full extent to which it makes room to that to which it makes room for his spouse. Nay, one of the greatest reasons why the Holy Ghost does not now do startling wonders in our souls is because he does not find there a sufficiently great union with his faithful and inseparable spouse. I say inseparable spouse, because since that substantial love of the Father and the Son has espoused Mary in order to produce Jesus Christ, the head of the elect, and Jesus Christ in the elect, he has never repudiated her, because she has always been faithful and fruitful. I can feel my uh, my body feeling quite weak, so I'm going to have to allow uh, the technical team to put now the prayers for this, uh, the prayers from one of the previous days. God bless all of you. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Feast of St. Joseph for the Holy Rosary. And so first, the Veni Creator. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O font of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts are known, thou finger of God's hand we own, thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power imbue. Kindle our sense from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given. With Thou, O Holy Comforter, henceforth by all, in earth and heaven. Amen. The Ave Maria Stella Hail, O Star of the Ocean, God's own Mother blessed, ever since this Virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day. Chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Praise to God the Father, honor to the Son, in the Holy Ghost, be the glory one. Amen. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. 
He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs>